all under quarantine. This is the scary part. All my fish stuff is over here. I barely even touch it and it turns on. We'll just kind of freestyle it together. You know what I mean? This right here is gonna be the new. I was like, what the hell? I wanted to show you guys the various colors. Aloha, my ohana. It's your boy, Bradamel, sporting the coconut hat. Man, it's just been getting crazier and crazier every day, right? This whole coronavirus thing is just like, man, it's getting nuts. In the beginning, it was like, eh, it'll blow over a week or two. Ah, the kids are out of school. Eh, it'll blow over. Now it's starting to get, hmm, we need to work on another plan here just in case we run into some kind of like zombie apocalypse or something like that. You just never know. Now, I'm not sure where everyone's from exactly, state, country, wherever, but here in the state of California, our governor has given us strict orders to remain in the house. We're all under quarantine. This is the scary part. Uh, you're only allowed to leave your home uh, to get necessities, like at the grocery store, whether it be food, water, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, stuff like that. But other than that, though, you can't leave your house. Um, there's already been a couple stories of people getting tickets from police officers for being out and about just to go get like I don't know a coffee at Starbucks or something like that I don't even know why they got pulled over but they're giving tickets out here that's pretty nuts just stay home under quarantine until this thing blows over stay healthy wash your hands vitamin C's yeah I just had to say something man I hope everyone takes care of themselves as far as my family so far so good Nobody's sick right now. But my uh, thoughts and prayers go out to you guys too as well. All right, that's enough coronavirus talk. Let's get into the video. Now, since we were on lockdown, my wife and I decided to clean out the garage. Yes, it has been a mess ever since we went through the whole renovation. So let me throw the camera around and show you guys what we did. All right, so here's the garage. Now we actually cleaned it out where we can park the car. And now I know in numerous videos, you've guys seen the background and been like, oh my gosh, the Hawaiian fish keeper's garage is horrible, right? Anyways. All my fish stuff is over here and while I was digging and organizing this stuff I forgot that I had a 50 gallon tank and here it is This is gonna be the new temporary home for Robin big You know the Oscar and the gold garami that we rescued a couple videos ago Anyways, what we did was we spray painted the background flat black So we got that background set in this is gonna be a gorgeous tank in the front It came with the stand. It's kind of weird measurements. You know, it's not your normal size 50 50 gallon tank but I figured I'd give this to him as a temporary home again get him out of that 30 gallon tank it'll give him a little bit more gallons um, until I can get that 75 gallon tank from my boy Dennis so this is going to be their new temporary home and this tank is actually gonna be in the living room where we all hang out so I want it to look somewhat decent right and you know me and my aquascaping I love to aquascape I'm not gonna go over the top but I'm gonna make it nice right I do have everything here I got a heater I got substrate make it a natural look um, I don't want to take too many gallons away from the fish so we're not gonna add a lot of rock maybe one rock and maybe a fake plant something like that I don't know I have some ideas we'll just kind of freestyle it together you know what I mean so you know when you're cleaning out the garage you're finding all kinds of things like a 50 gallon tank with a stand and uh, a coconut hat when I saw it I was like oh my god there's my coconut hat let me sport this in my video so let's get into this build we're gonna take this tank set it up in the living room and um, let the good times roll. Ah, and here it is on its stand in the living room. As you can see, we added this little plant here, give it a nice little touch under the clock in the living room, actually where we sit down and watch TV. I have an air stone in there that I had. You can see that's a real long one right there. And then we have our heater here on the side, which is a 300 watt heater. I think I'm gonna put it there, run the wires out through the top. But the thing here is this glass top. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not because I gotta put an HOB here and the HOB runs about 12 inches long and it's about three inches from here to here. So I'm gonna have to cut this plastic piece, which I don't want to because if I ever get a canister filter for this tank, it'll be a lot easier to just cut a little hole and run the intake and the outtake valves versus trying to cut way out here to accommodate an HOB. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this glass top, put this in the garage with the rest of the fish stuff, and we're gonna cut out a piece of the corrugated plastic. That's what we're gonna use for the tops. So the light that I have on the 30 gallon, there's one of those clip-on Aquion lights, which if I'm not mistaken, my boy IFG has a couple of them. I actually ordered another one, so we're gonna put two on. We're gonna put one here facing this way and one here that clips on facing this way. So it's gonna be kind of a cool, unique looking way of putting a light on. Yeah, let's go ahead and change it right now. One, two, three, boom! 
boom, just like that, it is on. Check it out, the lid, it's customized. Uh, I kind of did the measurements, cut it out. So we can put our HOB here, we can run our wires here. But this is the cool thing is the light, right? The Aquion clip-on light. Um, I got this thing for a steal. I think I got it for like $19 on uh, eBay. Um, you can find some really good deals with this thing. Now the cool thing about this light is you see that button, you just barely even touch it and it turns on. Now like I said, I got it for a steal. Uh, I believe it was like $19. With tax, it was like $21. Um, on eBay, but check it out. Let me show you from afar that and that's just one So I ordered another one to put on this side of the tank and I already Notched out where I'm gonna clamp it right in here. So It'll actually be uniform with this one. So we'll have two lights one for this side here Look how much brightness this thing has right just for this is ranked for a 20 gallon tank And then you tap tap it again, and it's just got like your blue light Hey, you know what? For 19 bucks, 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. So let's go ahead and put some substrate in. All right, so I got two bags of substrate that we're gonna use on the skate for that tank. Now, before I show you guys the substrate and what style of substrate that I'm using, do me a favor. Go over to IFG, the Inquisitive Fish Guy, my boy, Evan Alexander's channel. It is back, okay? Go check out his latest video, okay? He actually just posted two videos, one with Joey Mullen, and then this latest video. You'll see the thumbnail of yours truly. Now, don't be alarmed and shocked when you see the thumbnail like I was. I was like, what the hell? Click on that link, okay? I'm going to put it down in the description below. Check out the video and watch it all the way through. There is a message behind the thumbnail and his video, okay? So go ahead and click on it for me, all right, guys? Link will be down in the description below. Matter of fact, I'm gonna actually put it down in the comments below too, and I'm gonna pin it so you guys will see it. Click on that link, go check out the video, all right? It's a doozy. So here are the two bags of substrate that we are going to use in the tank. As you can see, I wanted to show you guys the various colors of little tiny pebble stones that we have here. Actually, we got some medium size too as well, but I just love the fact that it looks very natural and um, we're gonna use this. I love this style, but I guess I have to love it because it's the only two bags of uh, substrate that I have to choose from. So uh, yeah, I have no choice. <laughs> like I had options or something. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys up close on what we're gonna be using for the tank. So let's go put it in our tank. We got our Elite Cichlid plant here in the corner, which is a real tall one there. We got our Elite Cichlid plant in that corner too as well. We got the two rocks. These two are from my 120 gallon Predator tank. So we do have beneficial bacteria on that. We are doing dechlorinated water with Prime. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill this bad boy up. Let's get to it. So while we're waiting for this thing to fill up, don't forget to hit that like button. And you know what, if you haven't subscribed to the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, why don't you consider subscribing, right? Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because that's just gonna notify you when I put out a new video. Let's get back to it. All right, and here is the temporary home for Robin Big. Leave a little comment. Tell me what you think for this quick, simple scape with things that I had in the garage. The gravel looks nice. I love that aerator in the back, that bar. That came out really good. And then of course, the plants by Elite Cichlids. Oh man, I'm telling you guys, if you guys haven't ordered plants and you guys want some beautiful artificial plants at a reasonable price, these are the ones. I think this is called a coontail. Um, it's a medley. It's like three different plants on one plate. This is what I'm talking about. They pay attention to detail. When they make their plants, look at that one down in the middle. See how it's like a new growth growing in the middle? 
That's what I'm talking about. It makes these plants look so lifelike. I forget the name of this plant here, but this was one that they sent me that's really cool. I love the way it looks. And um, it buries nice in the substrate, as you can see. It comes on this like slate uh, that's weighted and uh, it's like got sand on it. So it kind of blends with the substrate. It looks really cool. I can't wait to stick Robin Big in this new temporary home until we get our bigger tank coming in. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that video, guys. Also, I can't wait to get my light. You can see one light here on this side. And then once this other light comes in, it's going to be coming in the mail pretty soon. It's going to light up this side and the tank is going to look so balanced. This big plant here is covering the heater in the back corner there and the intake valve from the Aquion HOB. My new subscribers, welcome to the channel and welcome to the Ohana. We are growing strong. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to stay healthy, happy fish, happy life, much love and aloha.